Hello, everybody. I'm Everton de Oliveira from the Groundwater Project, and we have the pleasure to bring you Jose Mas Pla. You see a lot about him. He's offering a volunteer work to help the project get to, uh, to be known in Catalan, in Spain. So thank you very much, Jose, for, for coming here. And if you're watching this, please consider, consider helping us as well. Make a donation or come and volunteer to translate some of our books. You're very welcome, like Joseph, great example. Joseph Maspla, I will introduce you, please. He's a professor in the Department of Environmental Science at the University of Girona and senior researcher at the Catalan Institute for Water Research. He completed his doctorate in geology at the Autonomous University of Barcelona in 88 and a PhD in hydrology and water resources at the Department of Hydrology and Water Resources at the University of Arizona in 93. His research focuses on the hydrogeology of range of region based in areas on and on nitrate contamination based on hydrogeological, hydrochemical, isotopic and numerical modeling. He has many hats as you can see. He is currently focusing his research on the presence of emerging pollutants, emerging pollutants, specifically antibiotics in groundwater. He has also participated in the three reports on climate change in Catalonia, edited by the Advisory Council for Sustainable Development, specifically in the chapters related to water resources, and is a member of the group of experts on climate change in Catalonia. He has been a visiting researcher at the University of California, Davis, and Lincoln University, New Zealand, New Zealand. And in addition, he has taught and conducted research stays at all uni other universities in Spain, Italy, Switzerland, and Tunisia. Since 2000 and 2019, he acts as an associate professor, associate editor of the Hydrogeology Journal. He's a member of the Catalan Institution of Natural History. Well. It's an honor to have you as a translator. Thank you very much. Uh, you worked on the book, Groundwater and Our uh, Water Cycle. Tell us a little bit about you and about your experience and bringing a book into Catalan. Thank you very much. I really trust that language, language is a powerful tool to bring groundwater to anyone. Please, your well. turn. No, thanks for this uh, pleasant presentation. Uh, I mean, it has been a pleasure to translate the book, uh, even though it's a very basic book on hydrogeology. I mean, you learn a lot when you get into the details, learn a lot about the, the concepts, which uh, I recommend the book to readers in Catalan, as well as in other languages that it has been translated. And well, I, I, I thank you for launching this project, the groundwater project, and giving us the opportunity to, to translate this knowledge, I mean, to some uh, sectors of society who maybe will not get this, this, uh, this type of science because it's in English. And I think that most of these books, I mean, somehow are interesting, not only to students or academics, but also to the regular people who are interested in groundwater issues or in water management issues at the end. And therefore, that's why I consider and I think it's a great opportunity to have all these books translated. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We, we, we believe in that too. And we depend on people like you. So how was your experience and, and how you expect to, to, to have the hydrogeologists in Catalonia reached by that book? As you, you asked me to write a, prefa a preface to the book in Catalan, uh, what I'm going to say, because I mean, there is a preface by John Cherry, there is another one, I mean, uh, also by John Cherry talking about the book and the project, so what, what can I add? And I think that it was good to advise two things. The first is that the book is interesting for students, but not as a textbook. It's, it's a, I think it's a book, it's only 120 pages at the most with a lot of figures. I think it's a book that must be read during the first week. So the students who will get their first hydrogeology or hydrology course, know what or how groundwater is framed within the, uh, the water cycle. I think it's a basic book. You read it in the first week, and then you go through the course, and your professors will teach you all the details. But you already have this knowledge. And also, as I said before, I mean, 
Uh, here, I, at least in Catalonia, there is a, a, a big project about public participation on the development of the water managing plans, which came from the water, the European Water Framework Directive. And a lot of people is involved. I assisted some of them. And I realized that uh, even though people put their best efforts to, and their best acknowledge, uh, of course, they lack about the, the basic science between uh, behind groundwater, between behind the water cycle. So uh, I think this book being translated into Catalan or any other language can uh, power this public participation and can make people uh, get a better acknowledge of the water resource they are using and they are trying to manage or to advise management to the water authorities. That's the power of this book, I think. So well put. Love it. We will use your, your sentences here to, to spread this, the, this book. It's, I, I totally agree. Very well mm -hmm. put. So uh, your experience, how, how do you think we can, we can have uh, some of your students and, and, and connections to help making other books into Catalan? What are your suggestions? I think to get the volunteer of the project, you need to be something foolish. I mean, it's not a big amount of time. I, I check it every hour I put on the book and it took me near uh, 75, 80 hours to get everything completed. I must say that I still haven't seen the review by the leaders of the project. So it may take a little more time probably to get into some details they will take. I don't know if they are very, very picky or not. You have to be foolish and have, I mean, some kind of a volunteer volunteering spirit to put this time, which is not as much. I mean, 80 hours, it's two weeks of work. I mean, and I did it through four months. So you can do it. And it's worth having the, uh, seeing the final result. And now the interesting thing we'll see once we uh, share this, uh, this uh, link, the link of the book with the students, what is their uh, response? If they use it, if they like it. I mean, I am going to uh, suggest it not only for my courses, but to other uh, people courses in hydrology, not only at the University of Girona, but to other universities that teach in Catalan, in Barcelona, in, in other, in Lleida, I mean, in, in other villages around the, the Catalan countries. And, uh, and, and let's wait and see what's their response to the book. But as I said, I mean, it's worth to uh, distribute it, not only in an academic background, or in academic grounds, but also uh, in a natural, um, I mean, uh, how to say that, environmental associations, uh, people who deal with the nature, with all these environmental issues that, uh, which water is probably made, in being a Mediterranean country, one of the most important ones. I think that uh, sharing it, distributing it, public making it public to these kind of associations is another thing that i i should be engaged in the next weeks or in the next month when the the book comes out yeah that's that's very true that's very true actually uh you pointed you pointed to something that it is it is a difficulty for us here in the groundwater project because we publish things in english only and to reach people that that then you know the people that speak only Catalan, where you know this book is focused at or aimed at, we need to to to, to put the, some information in Catalan uh, and social media in Catalan and things like that. So, if you have a student or someone that are very familiar, that's very familiar with social media, we could we could publish something in in Catalan so we can spread the the existence of the book. Because we, we make our advertisement in English, like we're speaking in English, right? Here, uh, it's not easy, right? So we, we'll try to, to do that. But we, we got the support, I mean, of the Catalan Institution of Natural History. They will uh, review the book in a second edition just to check about language details. I mean, I am a Catalan speaker. Uh, I write teaching Catalan every day. So I think the, the book is well written. However, I will be more pleased if uh, some linguistic uh, advice can be done by an official institution. And at the same time, I mean, uh, the, this uh, natural history institution, 
may take the book as part of his production as a, I mean, as someone that helps to distribute it to its, uh, its members, okay? Then take, it, it's a way to spread it out better than from the university. Because I mean, members are just regular people who are interested in science, are not yeah, academic. I agree with you, very good idea, very good idea. That's, that, that, that is important for us because you know, it, it, we need capillarity and it's not easy. We, we'll have the books in, in different languages, but they go slowly to, to the public. We need, we need more help and like the, the support that we're going to have from this institution would be very welcome. That's a good idea. Good and the point is, as, I mean, that's the thesis of the book. I mean, groundwater is completely unknown to most of the people who work on the environment. So I say groundwater. I mean, I told my students, if a stream doesn't have water in, don't look at the headwaters, look at the aquifer. Water yeah. will not come up from the upper parts, will come from the nearby aquifer. And people are still, they look at the mountains. No, look at nearby. And just this regular thing that's really well explained in the book, I think it's the main, the main point of the book. I mean, groundwater, there's a book also by the UAGS that it's named groundwater and surface water, a single resource. And that's a point that should be stressed when people uh, who's using groundwater uh, must know about that. I mean, it's, it's a key point anyway. I, I totally agree with you. I discussed that with, with John Cherry, with people on the groundwater project, and I'm bringing to the, the Brazilian Congress next week and uh, Belgium mm -hmm. the other week. Yes, but, yes. Uh, we, we have uh, more, more than uh, science. We have a cause that we have to fight for. Because, you know, if you have a water crisis, this is groundwater crisis. And mm -hmm. we hydrogeologists see this, but not everybody, as you mentioned. People don't see that. They don't realize that's a problem with groundwater. And it's up to us to bring to a large public this problem. That's why we're working on the groundwater project. We're starting with people that are hydrogeologists, and, but we have to bring to, other, uh, to, to a public at large that are not hydrogeologists. So this is introduc introductory book. It's very important for that. Yeah, and I will encourage people from other languages, from every country, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's uh, European, American, I mean, uh, from Asia, from Africa, yes. to have this book, because you probably go to the, to the groundwater project webpage, and as academic, you look for the most, let's say, advanced books. But are yes. these ones, the ones that share basic knowledge written by people who has been dealing with groundwater for many, many years and making beautiful contributions to the yes. science, I mean, when you go to these books, you realize that they can really be useful to society. To, and to when the, Everton suggested me to translate this one, I said, look, looks a nice book, let's try. It's not very long. I mean, who knows, if, you get, if I get tired, I, get, I can fulfill my commitment, but I really didn't get tired. Uh, and I really learned that it's a, a really nice book for, yes sharing it with people, regular people, I mean. Well, I'm, I'm very glad that you liked it. I'm very glad that you liked it. And, and I, I like the book too. I'm reading them all, right? I'm, a, I'm an editor, I have to, I'm reviewing them all. And I'm, but it's, you know, it's a pleasure. After all, it's a, you, you mentioned, I don't agree with you that we don't we have to be full because it's a, a labor of love. You're doing because you like it. So it's not like a yeah. being full. You're doing something for society. Well. It's a great move. It's a great move. Well, about being full and being a volunteer. I mean, it's a nice way of being full somehow. Yes, yes. <laughs> I agree. I, we, agree. I, I mean, I regular things are boring. Uh, foolish things are, I mean, more appealing and more uh, interesting <laughs> and, I mean, uh, and nice to do. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was, uh, in, in any case, it was a very nice work. We, we're very glad to have you. And I hope we can, we can get in touch. Uh, how do I say, Josep or Josep? No, Josep, doesn't matter. Josep. People call me Pep, P-E-P. -E -P. So Pep. Pep, uh, Pep is even better. Okay. Like, even better. So, Pep Guardiola. More familiar. For me, Pep Guardiola. That's the one that everybody knows. <laughs> That's fine. 
<laughs> right, no problem about that. Uh, no problem. Yes, I will encourage people to translate. I will encourage people to do that, uh, definitely. And there is a point, I don't know, you can cut the interview if you want, but when reading the book, I know it's a translation and I, I've been, I mean, 99.9% faithful to the text. I haven't modified, let's say, a comma. I only added a, a note, a footnote, because talking about law, I thought it was interesting that uh, people in Catalan who, I mean, as Europeans, <laughs> we have the Water Framework Directive, just to yeah. notice in a few lines that everything that was said, I mean, it was not completely true in Europe because for at least uh, 15 years, we have, thought we have got this, uh, this directive, okay? But uh, a point of this book, and that's a suggestion for the, the editors, is that all the examples are worldwide, okay? And I want, I was translating it, okay, that this example is what we have here nearby or in the next village or in the next basin. So it will be great, I mean, to, to add the translators probably to make a, a final chapter saying, okay, what, I mean, the author said about China, about, I mean, these, uh, these groundwater lakes in China, for example, you have them here nearby in this location. So I also say in the preface, I mean, read that book, thinking on the geography, on the hydrogeology, the hydrogeology of your region, of your county, of your country, whatever, no? And then you will learn a little more and you will translate the concepts to your nearby reality, which is indeed the, the one you better know and the one you can understand. I, I, I agree with you. This is called, in translation, this is called localization. So you make local examples so yeah. when the, the reader, you know, reader feels more comfortable with, just like not only for expressions, but for examples, that would be a good idea. We have only one problem with that, uh, Pep, is that uh, we, we won't have, if you do that in Catalan, we won't have a, a reviewer, you know, we, you oh, have other, first in There English are other Catalan English. hydrologists that will be able to do that. I mean, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Ooh. And because they are friends, they will not be kind with me. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I totally understand that. Yeah, but it, it is a good point. We have to think. One of our bottlenecks uh, is uh, the number of editors that we have. That is, it's not easy to have people reviewing to make it better. It's not easy, right? And, uh, and that's been a, a slow, you know, a slow step for us to produce the books. You know, the authors are coming, but mm -hmm. we have to review and make them in a, in a good level. Of course, yes. Even in different languages, that is even uh, even harder. But it's a good, it, it is a good idea. Uh, uh, yes, and, and for all the major languages, as you know, Chinese, uh, uh, Spanish as well, but the smaller languages like Catalan, or for example, I don't know. Uh, from Africa, from Asia, I don't know. Eh? I, I apologize for this. Uh, uh, that's probably the languages, the societies that are interested on local translation of the books. Because I will yeah. say in Europe, I mean, in non-speaking, in non-English speaking languages, most of the students, I mean, uh, read and speak English quite well. And people interested in nature, in an environment, they also can read English because they have taught it in a school, have learned it in school, excuse me. But probably in other places, this, uh, the, the knowledge of English is not as usual as here. So this is why, I mean, this uh, translating it to these uh, uh, minority languages have uh, an extra point, somehow uh, an added value. I, I, I agree with you, Pep, but uh, I think it's, uh, it's still important for, for places where people speak English. Because it's way more comfortable for us to read in our mother language. You know that, right? Uh, you it speak is. English very well, but it's very comfortable to read in a language that you learned from a child, right? As a child, that, that, that's a big difference. And uh, yes, yeah, so we are having uh, many people from, from different languages, uh, different places, Indonesia and other places, translating into their own languages. So in this, in this, 
uh, aspect has been a, a great success, the project. So in time, sure. we expect to, to have many more people jumping in and translating the books because it's, it's going to be uh, well known and more volunteers are coming. I, I, I believe uh, speaking in, in the languages, we can really improve the groundwater knowledge in the world, really, really. That's I, I'm sure the project will do. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know if you were in, in, in Malaga a few years ago when John I Cherry presented there. the project. I was there. I really fall, I, I fall in love with the project at the moment. I knew about it because of the, I don't know, the mailing and the, uh, the mails you read uh, from, I don't know, from association. But then you you hear, yeah, I heard uh, Professor Cherry talking about that. I said, we should get involved on this. Yeah. And I, 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 how to say that? I encourage people to, to also get encouraged with this. Yeah, I, I, I thank you very much for that. And, and all the, you know, the planet will thank you for that because this is so important, so important. I, we were in Malaga, I was there with John. That was very good. That was mm -hmm. very good, really. And it's, and Malaga is also a very nice place too. That was a nice meeting. Yeah, it was a nice very well meeting. organized. Everything went fine. That was great. Yeah, and and the place is lovely. Yes. Oh, everything yes. was fine. Yes. It is. Yes, it is. Okay, Pep, our time is up here. So I would like to thank you very much. It was very nice having you uh, working with us and seeing you face to face. Although not in, you know presential, but we'll we'll meet uh, yeah, soon in the future after this pandemic is gone. Right. Thank you Hope very so. much. It was a pleasure and an honor having you working with us. And I hope you oh, can you work with us more. I would like to thank you, I mean, for launching this project, which I, I've been involved in, and also to having the opportunity to translate it. I've been happy to do it. I mean, it's, it's a nice experience. I really recommend it. Now, please make a, a final statement in Catalan for the public so we can use that in you know, social media in Catalan, please. So in Catana, I will say, no, agrair en el projecte Groundwater la possibilitat de traduir aquest llibre. És un llibre interessant, no només per gent d'universitat, sinó per gent que estigui interessada en el cicle de l'aigua i en la seva gestió. Hi ha els coneixements bàsics, són interessants, i amb qualsevol cosa sempre es pot ampliar, per dir-ho d'alguna manera. En fi, molt agraït en el Groundwater Project per poder participar i haver admès una traducció en català que jo trobo que és fantàstica que sigui. Moltes gràcies. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A pleasure. Bye.